Ding dong, the sitch is dead. Which old sitch? The wicked sitch. Ding dong, the wicked sitch is dead. <laughs> Zayden Kibo has, um, <laughs> he's entered his Alexis Volkov era. He is dust, he's dead. And I think it'd be really fun if we could talk about it, my reaction to it, and what I originally wanted Renesmee Volkov's storyline to be, because it was not this, it was not this. Let me make something clear, okay? When it comes to my legacy and not so very challenges, there are a lot of things in these series that I do plan. However, there are a lot of things that have happened that I didn't plan, and this this was one of them. I did not plan Satan's demise. And it's funny how his demise was the exact same scenario that happened to Alexis very early on in the series. An episode, I want to say eight or nine, one of my favorite episodes of all time, where she was in a relationship with Roy D. Dillon and she cheated on him with Christopher Volkov, got pregnant, told Roy about it, and they broke up. And he dies. He, he flatlines right there in the middle of Alexis's building's hallway right before she comes home and quite literally the exact same thing happened with her daughter Renesme. She had two men fighting over her and one of them dies from anger. <laughs> what the f like what are what are the chances of that happening twice without me doing anything? It's weird that it happened twice but is it fantastic? Yes. Yes, it is. So originally, I did not want Zayden Kibo to die, okay? I didn't even think about him dying. I didn't plan his death at all. What I wanted more for Zayden post breakup was him kind of ruining Renesmee's life. Like him trying to get in the middle of her and Dexter, you know, maybe something going on with Jasper. I don't know. I would have probably thought of something along the way, but that was more what I was hoping for. I was hoping that he'd haunt her life, not through the afterlife, but <laughs> in some other way. This is fine too. I'm very, content with it. In fact, I'm very happy about it because Zayden being dead is hilarious. Now we should probably talk about Renesmee's storyline, what I wanted for her originally. When Renesmee got pregnant, I was not surprised per se because this is something that definitely would happen to her when she's banging two sims at the same time. And I expected that at some point she would get pregnant, but I didn't think it happened that soon. And I also wanted to go about it a different way. The original storyline I had planned for her was something like she gets caught being with Dexter by Zayden and Zayden, you know, dumps her. And then after some time, he comes back and he tries to win her back because Zayden, he was very emotional and a ticking time bomb, just like Dexter said. I did see him being very controlling and at the end of the day he just wants everything Renesme does to be the way he wants you know and the reason why he'd want her back is mainly for the control so yeah I was hoping he'd catch them and then maybe this would lead to Dexter and Zayden fighting over her you know she's deciding who do I want to be with the most and then she gets pregnant and whoever the baby's father is is the man she ends up being with and that's that so if it was Zayden's she'd be with Zayden if it was with Dexter she'd be with Dexter though looking back at this storyline, it doesn't make a lot of sense because Zayden honestly did not give two fucks about Renesme. <laughs> Let's be real. He probably would not have the energy to fight over her like that. And part of that storyline did happen. He did find out that she was cheating on him, but it wasn't until after Jasper was born. So if I had it my way, there would have been a little bit more drama between all three of them before Renesme makes that final decision. But I really like Dexter and I really had fun delving into their storyline and just watching them grow as a couple because they started off at a very rough point. <laughs> You know, Dexter betraying his brother, Renesme betraying her man. Honestly, I had a lot of fun playing Renesme, and I'm gonna miss her because yeah, she did. She she is kind of winning in the Gen 2 storylines. <laughs> must say. Sorry, Autumn. I know you're my matriarch, but Renesmee is kicking her ass right now when it comes to the messiness and the chaos. She is definitely her mother, Alexis's twin. <laughs> so yeah, Renesmee is off to live her new life with Dexter and Jasper and Sulani. And they have been moving very fast, apparently, because this pop-up appeared on my screen while I was playing my game the other day. Of course, Renesmee would be the one to propose. Oh my god. This is so ghetto. This <laughs> 
<laughs> this is so ghetto. I have never once made a female sim of mine in this game propose to their man. And she decided, F you, Solita. I'm gonna do it on my own. And she did. And now they're engaged. They're gonna get married. And we're gonna see how that's gonna turn out. I do plan on giving them a very big bougie wedding. Stay tuned for that. Let me know in the comments what you thought about Renesmee's and Dexter's and Zayden's storyline and what you think about Zayden dying. Oh, I should probably tell you how I felt about that too, by the way. When that happened, oh my God, I ran screaming from my computer. Like, no way. When I heard that music, the death by anger music, come on. He kicked her autonomously as well. I did not make him do that. That is completely the extreme violence mods doing. And it's funny too, because I haven't had an autonomous interaction from extreme violence pop up in a long time. Just a perfect way to go out, Zayden. Just a perfect way to end things <laughs> between you and Renesme, honestly. But yes, I had a lot of fun with them and I'm gonna miss our messy queen. You made me proud. You made Alexis proud, but we will definitely be keeping up with her and her little family along the way.